Okay, uh, hi, uh, my name is Suren and I'm working at uh, Webnetics uh, uh, as a web developer. And uh, I have been using WordPress for three years for developing uh, websites for our clients. Uh, so these are some of the tips that I have like uh, come up with and like I have gotten to know doing projects for clients. And uh, this is not mainly like aimed at uh, SEO expert. It's more like uh, good to have features like when you are develop if you are a developer or if you are a website owner, it's good to have these tips in your head like so that uh, you know uh, how to make your like uh, website more SEO friendly. Okay, so I'm not guaranteeing like by following all these tips like you will get a high ranking on uh, Google, but still it will help in the long run. And uh, when you are really going into doing SEO. This will help your website. So, uh, first, like uh, how Google or any other search engine works is like you have websites, and Google has this uh, meta crawler that will go into these websites and create a database uh, based on the content that is found on your website. So, what happens is as on page SEO, what we are trying to do is a client or like a user will come and search on Google for whatever uh, like keying in keywords and trying to find what they are looking for and Google will look into their database and try to give the most relevant and uh, relevant information to the user so earlier like when we were doing SEO like people were more like uh, concerned with uh, doing like uh, tricking Google into providing like telling them that uh, your website has the like the relevant information but actually what what we have to keep in mind when we are doing SEO is like search engines goal is to give the most relevant information to the user and our job as a website owner or like a, a content provider is to provide the uh, relevant information that is useful to the user so if you keep this in your head like when you are doing your website so it will be actually automatically uh, search engine optimized so these tips will help you to keep that, uh, this will help you as a guideline when you are doing this. So first tip is uh, create unique and accurate page titles. So when you, you can see that uh, when you are searching on Google, the word that you are uh, searching for mainly comes up in the title of that search result, right? So when if it's at the beginning of the search result a user will be more inclined to click on it like because they will see that it uh, that page will have their have what they are looking for right so you must uh, try to incorporate that uh, keyword as uh, part of the title we don't know what the keyword might be but uh, try to find the like the most like keyword that describes your web uh, web page uh, well and have it in your title and try to keep it at uh, to the beginning as possible then the second tip uh, second tip is uh, make use of the meta description so you see uh, you have heard like uh, there are three three or four meta tags that that are coming in each website uh, so uh, you can uh, give a description for the, your page uh, with the uh, uh, when you are creating the website uh, web page and like you can see that Google is showing a description here so sometimes if the if Google can't find a, a proper uh, wording in your page it will use that meta description to show it here like so and the other thing is like whatever uh, word that you search for will be highlighted on this uh, meta uh, description so it's Basically, it tells the user that what they are searching for is in the web, web page. Uh, next, uh, improve the structure of the URLs of the website. So, try to avoid like uh, URLs with this uh, like what uh, this might be understandable to the server, but it, it won't be like really make making sense to the user. So, try to keep it in like plain English, and so 
learnchinese.com.st classes means more to the user than having it like page ID 1 or 2 or whatever. So when you are trying to do it, uh, try to think like what, when, what a user will be trying to, what a user will be seeing and uh, what they will be uh, trying to understand through the website. So uh, don't like aim it towards the search engine. Then number four, make your website easier to navigate. When you are like uh, considering building your website and when you are thinking about uh, like generating the content for your website, try to keep it like uh, properly structured and uh, plan your navigation based on the structure of the uh, content that you are putting into your website. So here like if it's a hospital website, you can see that uh, there are clinics and under clinics you have doctors. So it, it makes sense like if you go to the clinic, you can see all the doctor information. Like think like think in that way. Like the real world example is in your website uh, structure as well. Then uh, this is like earlier. Like wh what people used to do was uh, put in the keyword as much as possible into the content. But without doing like that, what you should be targeting to do is like create uh, quality content and services like. People will be coming to your website more if they can see that you are providing good quality content, right? So write easy to read text, stay organized around the topic that of your web page, and create fresh and unique content that uh, changes quite, uh, like keeps uh, updating with the what's happening. And create uh, content primary for your users, not the search engine. Don't try to trick the search engine. So. If the user find it useful, they will be coming back to your website, and Google will identify your website as a proper source of information. Then uh, you have you get links in your website, right? So when you are having links, uh, the text that describes the link make it make sure that it's understandable to the user, like it shows them where it's going. Like don't have just have click here. Tell them that uh, clicking here will go to this page. So people will be like clicking more and going to like finding their information more easily. So it's easier for the user and it's easier for the search engine as well. So choose descriptive text, write concise te text, and format links so they are spot uh, easy to spot. Like uh, don't hide the links in the in the content. Try to make it like uh, easy to identify. Then. Uh, Optimize your uh, use of your images. Here, I'm not talking about like making it uh, the image loading fast. It's about like uh, so images. Try to describe the image with the title of the uh, sorry uh, the uh, image name. Uh, like here, the image is described as childlearning.jpg, and provide alt alternate uh, alternate tags for each image. So it describes what the image is trying to uh, like uh, show. So when uh, sometimes like people will uh, when they are searching for something, they will just go to Google Image Search and they will search for uh, like look at the pictures. And when they if the if your picture is ranked there, maybe they will click it and come to your website. So that is also a place where you can target to like increase your search engine of uh, ranking. Then. Number eight, uh, you get uh, different headings in your content, right? So when you are providing content, I have seen like some of the website, the content will be just uh, stylized using uh, CSS styles. So you see here uh, like a big text, but it's, it doesn't actually make sense to the uh, search engine. So if you use H1 to H6 tags properly, like uh, if more important stuff, like categorized under H1 tags and like lesser important stuff according to like uh, H6 tag, like up to H6 tag, you can go. So all the content will be like marked like uh, properly structured. So this will help search engines to identify important sections of your website uh, and check whether if it's relevant. So like if a user searches for something, it will first see like it, it's pro presented in a, like a, uh, under H1 tag, more important stuff will be like given more priority. Then optimize your website. 
So here, like, try to make your website load faster. Uh, this will definitely help with your ranking. So recommended size is uh, time is no more than four seconds, but you, as you saw, like, you can get it like really low. And uh, these are some of the tips that I have given, but there are better ways to do it. So minify JS, CSS files, and co use compression and optimize your images. The number ten internal and external links. Earlier, like we used to buy like links to your website, right? But instead of trying to get people to come to your website, make sure that your website provides uh, like uh, your website acts as a knowledge hub. So you, if you can provide uh, references to other websites, people will come to your website, find the information, and go to other websites. But Google will identify your website as a source of like information. So they will be sent to your website first to like find information so it's quite good to have like links to other websites like relevant links to other websites then uh, also like inside your website also try to link to other relevant content inside your content like let's say uh, there's a uh, web page for uh, uh, heart uh, cardiac doctor and if you have another uh, another page explaining like what cardiac uh, like problems are like links to that that uh, web page from your within your website will help you like make an uh, like make uh, information easier to find for users so that also helps then uh, use social sharing uh, like use plugins and give options for users to share the website and the content so this gives the illusion like not the illusion like <laughs> This gives the like uh, overview as if your site is like there are things that were, that are worth sharing. Then number twelve, and this is the like most obvious one: make your website mobile friendly, because uh, Google uh, now is now enforcing mobile. Uh, your website has to have a mobile interface, so make your website responsive. So. Lastly, like uh, by doing these SEO tips, uh, putting them into your website, you can get a better SEO ranking. Uh, other than that, if you down the road, like if you want to do Google advertising or any other kind of advertising, your website uh, will be like more ready to go into advertising. That uh, you don't have to, you won't have to do any uh, additional changes in your website when you are trying to do advertising, and your ad rank will be like highly higher than like having with, without having these things and uh, the other last thing is like what you are trying to do is give your client the most useful and relevant information and by following these tips you are automatically giving them that uh, that uh, that service so try to make it uh, like that uh, thank you any questions Yeah. Uh, that last point you said uh, yeah. about advertising. Yeah. Was that if you're going to advertise on your site or advertise on other side? Other other side. Like if you are doing uh, digital marketing on Google, right. so when you are like uh, creating your ad advertisement, you have to link to your website, right? Yeah. And when you are doing that, if your website has a better ranking, yeah. like they give rank, uh, like points according to that uh, your content. So your ad will be ranked higher, and you you will have to bid lower to get the uh, advertisement up. Yeah. yeah. Bid lower. Yeah. yeah. Lower in the sense like you will have to bid a little. Like you won't have to keep on bidding more. Like you can bid lower, but have a higher ranking and get a better ad position. So your SEO. Yeah. Your um, your uh, suitability for. Not a SEO per se, but like with these tips, your website quality will be higher. Right. So that helps. Like it's. Is that another index? It's not the page rank. Is it some other index? Uh, no, no. For each ad, they have a they give points for Google advertising. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions? <laughs> um, in the WordPress yeah. context, yeah. what are the best tools to do this? Uh, there are different plugins. <laughs> yeah. You have. Hi. Normally, I mean SEO. Uh, yeah. 
for Tech Nation, we have a part time SEO guy who basically synchronize our site and we just did everything on code. We don't use any, we use all in one SEO to a certain extent. So, whenever the editors publish an article, they will probably have keywords, have separate type keywords and uh, tweak the headlines of the SEO. So, if you can easily do that part with yeah. the plugins. Yeah, as all, all yeah. AIO well, SEO. The plugin that I use is Yoast. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. we have Which I find quite good, but yeah. there's a lot of stuff in there that yeah, I Yeah, there's too much stuff. We are using yeah. all in my SEO, yeah. PIO. Uh, all in one? Yeah, all in my SEO. We are using that. So these tips actually helps you, like if you are having a developer developing your website, let's say, so you, you should be asking the developer to incorporate this stuff into the website. So it doesn't matter how he does it or like if you are hiring SEO, like a separate person to do SEO to your website, they will find it easier if you have this built into the website. And down the road, if you are doing Google advertising also, this will help with your, uh, like let's say, uh, we get clients like uh, who want to do digital advertising, but uh, their website is like uh, those doesn't have any of these, so they might not have description, meta descriptions, and they might not have the title done properly. So those has to be done all over again. So if you are when you are building the website, if you can build this into the website, like having alter tags and everything. So anyway, they will be doing that when you are doing digital marketing. So their job will be easier, and you can spend less at that time when you do these parts at first. That's the idea, basically. Doesn't uh, WordPress allow, what is it? It was like title, meta description, keywords. URLs, keywords. Yeah. WordPress allows for all that. Uh, that's a, you need to use a plugin. Oh, you need to use a yeah. plugin, right. Yeah. So for, uh, to add on, for develop, in Tech Asia, basically, developers have to pay not the header, H1 to H6. Right. That's the only thing that most tricks that we do only. Basically, which one will be the title and which one will be more important. Right. And some links have to be no follow for some reasons. I have no idea. I'm not doing SEO. Yeah. For uh, out of the box, uh, WordPress does provide, but that's only out of the box. Uh, for um, the basic. general site, the basic only, but yeah. it does have a. Uh, you, you provide your site this, this description in your back end, you will display that in the front end, uh, but that doesn't change uh, okay. when, you, uh, when you write a new post or you publish a new page. Oh, right, it's got one meta description for every page. Yes. Yeah. Right, so you need a plugin. Yeah, that's just the all in one SEO or yours. All in one yeah. We also use yeah. Google XML sitemaps, not sure whether it helps. Yeah. Sitemaps yeah. is because Google will go to your sitemap. Correct. Control, yeah. 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 Don't you have to submit the sitemap to Google? Correct. Right. So, yeah. Do, um, do you think that Google Webmaster tools, right? Um, the moment you submit your first sitemap to Google, the, as long as you keep your sitemap updated, Google will, will ping your sitemap uh, on, periodically base, on a periodic basis so that uh, the updated sitemap uh, can be drawn out. Right. Yeah. So what, what I like about Yoast is that you can actually do this yourself. You don't need a... Yeah, same goes with 4-in-1 SEO plugin. Yeah. Uh, these two plugins, they provide a comprehensive uh, SEO uh, options for WordPress. Um, some more comprehensive than others. Yeah, but both are very, very comprehensive. You may not need to use all of the options. Uh, I would say be selective for what you need because there are some plugins that may be... Um, they may, they may have uh, replicated uh, uh, solutions like Facebook plugin itself. Itself, right? They, they has own social uh, social text um, generated, so you can choose between using Facebook plugin or using Rose or all one uh, plugin. Yeah. Okay. So next, Thanks. we have a very short lightning, uh, just an announcement from Mike, because he's running yeah. this conference at the end of the year, called 3 and 